Samsung Galaxy Note 2 bringing more color soon. Rumors of a Galaxy S4 with an S Pen have begun, and tablets seem to be eating smartphones when it comes to sales. I'm Jaime Rivera, here to end 2012 off right with this year's last episode of Pocket Now Daily. Now let's start today off by calling this Samsung Day because, well, most of everything we'll talk about has to do with Samsung. First of all, the Galaxy Note 2 will apparently bring more colors to the table, just like the Galaxy S3 brought more colors just a couple of weeks after release. Apparently the first device to be launched will be a black variant, and even though it's not my favorite, it's good to have options. Now speaking of the Galaxy Note 2, can you imagine a Galaxy S4 with the S Pen functionality? I mean, we do know that the Galaxy S3 had the C Pen, but we all know that's a poor excuse for stylus. It was really terrible, nothing really out of the ordinary. There are a lot of really great things with the S Pen on the Galaxy Note and Galaxy Note 2, and apparently Samsung's already gearing down to bringing that functionality to their next generation Galaxy S4. Obviously we will have to wait until May 2013 probably, we're still not sure about that, but I am sold, I definitely would love an S Pen on the Galaxy S4. And yeah, for more Samsung news, they have a new deal on Facebook where if you register your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 or your Galaxy S3, they'll be giving you a free flip cover along with six NFC tags, which is a really cool deal if you think about it. Only those flip covers have really ugly colors. Still, they're free. They're also giving you 50% discounts on almost every accessory in their online store, which is another really good deal. The only problem is that you have to wait like six to eight weeks to get your gadgets, but you could bet tonight's beers that I already registered for mine so make sure you follow the links and register your device. Now even though the Motorola Droid Razor M didn't really surprise anybody in the market, even though it had some great praise from Michael Fisher in his review, Motorola apparently is already working on a new variant of this Droid Razor M with an HD display along with a better battery. Now we don't have any dates as to when this device will be launched, there's always a market for smaller devices, this Droid Razor M fits right there. I just wish they thought of a new shorter name, imagine Motorola Droid Razor M HD. What a mouthful. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we all know that the tablet category has existed for more than a decade, even though it was really the iPad that made it a mainstream three years ago. And if we consider these new generation of tablets, apparently this year is the first year that tablets surpass smartphones when it comes to sales. And just think about it, I mean, you don't really need a tablet, but you do need a smartphone in most cases. So that leads me to the question of the day. What did you purchase this holiday season? Did you get a tablet, a smartphone, or both? In my case, I got both, but can you blame me? Leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanking you all for a great 2012. Thank you all for following our videos, for liking every one of them. Thank you all for all your feedback, and we're hoping that 2013 is even better. So stay tuned, see you next year, which would pretty much be next week.